Welcome one and all to the 16th episode of D&D Season 2. D&D stands for Daddy and Daughter. I am Daddy. And I am Daughter. Well done. <laughs> My name is Mike, she's Zoe, and we're going to be working on our little game, a little platformer game here. Let's demo it for them. Oh, it may actually not work at all because we were working, yeah, <laughs> our character is all broken, but that's okay. Look at him. Doink, doink. He's kind doink. of funny though. He's funny. Sort of staring down. Doink. <laughs> there we go. With no eyes. No, nothing. Our character is just completely broken. Okay, well, we need to fix him. But first, let's make some animations for the eyes. So we've decided to separate the eyes and the mouth from the rest of the, the, rest of the rig because uh, Unity didn't like it. We probably could have added it, but this gives us the opportunity to, in fact, make independent animations, right? Mm -hmm. So we can make the eyes blink and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think your stream is paused. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Oh. Focus. Oh. I Thank just you. thought it was a problem. Focus. So. All right. So we're going to select the bones, right? And we're going to go to... Pose mode. Pose mode. That's how we move the bones about. Now let's take a look at our actions. We got none. That's perfect. So we're going to create one first one. And the action that we're going to create first is some kind of idle. Right, so when the eyes just sort of wander around and sort of chill. All right, so let's hit new. There it is. Let's put ourselves on frame number one. There we are. I'm gonna name this one to Hi Hans Eyes Idle. Oops, no, no spaces. spaces. Hit enter. Perfect. Okie doke. So what we're going to do now is I'm in charge of the mouse, she's in charge of the keyboard, so I'm going to be dictating a few things to you and everything will be fine, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do we do for the eyes? First of all, let's just sort of wiggle them around just a little bit, right? So hit R. Which axis should we rotate on? Uh, oh, wait a moment. Huh? 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 What's, hap huh? What's happening? Are I these mean... children of one another? No, they're not. So we need to make them children of one another, right? So yeah. let's go back to the bones. Back to object mode. Now to make something a child of something else, you need to click on the first object that you want to be a child. Then hold shift. You you right hold shift. You right click on the on the skeleton on the um, rig. Okay. Now you hit Control P. And now we're gonna say with automatic weights. Uh huh. And it's moved them slightly to the side. What will we have to weight paint? Weight I don't paint. think so. We can just check if you want. So let's go here and go to weight paint. And now you need to select the bone. Put this one on pose mode. Select this again. And this bone select controls this eye. This bone controls this eye. So it's perfect. Okay? Okay. Object mode. Back to pose mode. There we go. Now let's hit R again. E. Hit S. E etc. So we have quite a few options now. Cool. All right. So let's begin by uh, putting them straight. So hit R. Hit R. Okay. Hold the shift. Now press I. Block rot scale. So now we have our first frame. Okay. Now let's move this eye just a teensy win. Wait, not here actually, my bad. Let's go to say frame 12 and let's move this eye a little bit. So hit R again. And eye lock rot scale. We should make him blink too. Uh, we'll worry about the blinking in a moment. Hit R again. Eye lock rot scale. Okay. Now hit, um, hit shift D over there. To duplicate we're gonna take these to the 24th uh, mark 23 sure now sh hold shift shift D to duplicate okay we're gonna duplicate these again and what we're gonna do is gonna use a little trick remember a little trick of yeah, sort of our moving trick yeah right. so hit G G G G G Okay, so let's see how all of this plays out. It stops at 45. All right, let's go. There, he's moving his eyes. That's pretty good. 
The last bit is a little bit abrupt, I think. Generally, it seems to me that this is a little bit too fast, all of it, right? So let's just extend it. So hit B to select all. I mean, to select box. S to scale. Uh, wait, so you notice it's scaling around this pivot. Yeah. Let's put the pivot here. Now go S and scale. S. And I'm just going to type 2. So I doubled it. Okay. This leads us to a lovely 89. Now let's see how this animation plays out. Okay, I think that's a lot better. Yeah. Right? So he's sort of like breathing and chilling. That should do. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right, so that's good. Now let's create a few of those interesting ones, right? So we should probably make an idle one um, for when he's got his eyes closed because he's just died. Yeah. Mm. But maybe first we should do the blink. Yeah, we should make him blink. All right, so we're going to hit plus. Here. Oh, first we're going to hit F to save the animation to a slot. Okay, and now we're going to hit plus. And that added a new one, and we're going to call this one Add Eyes Blink. Hit enter. Okay. And we're going to hit F right away. So for blinking, we're going to need a super fast animation. So hit B for box selection. Hit Delete to delete all of these. There. And we only have one keyframe. Okay. Human beings blink in, what is it? Uh, two or three milliseconds? I don't remember. Between three and... 10 milliseconds so mm -hmm. it depends but anyway very very short time so we're going to duplicate this so hit shift D and let's move it to frame 3 4 maybe 5 hit G again there now this gives us one middle frame over here okay so let's start by shrinking this guy so press S which axis are we gonna shrink on The Z. Z, then press Z. Because I forgot Blender is the... Blender is the a bit opposite. special like that, yeah. Okay. Now, this looks a bit odd, so we're going to rotate as well. Hit R to rotate. i hit S again. Okay, S, Z. I think this is probably okay. What do you think? I think it is too. All right. But now we need to change it. S, Z. R to rotate, S, here we go, okay, so hit A, again, I, block rot scale, boom, let's check out this animation, this one is 5 frames, and let's put 10 just so we don't go crazy, oh, it's going backwards, I think, so I think it's not fast enough, Let's give him some time to open his eyes, but not any time to close them. So hit G. I'm going to put them really, really close. So it's there. That's much better. Right? So he blinks really, really quickly. And then he takes a little bit of time to open his eyes. Right? Mm. <clears throat> cool. And now we can call this animation whenever we want to from within the game. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make some kind of core routine that runs all the time as long as you're alive. And it's gonna, he's going to blink every now and then. Maybe we're going to make him blink in specific areas, like, for example, when he stomps an enemy or when he jumps, we're going to make him blink. We can make all sorts of cool decisions like that. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, we have this done. Now, we're going to copy this animation because it's already got an animation with closed eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of what we want. For Han's death? Yes. So, we're going to click a plus, and here you go. Guys, I closed Hans eyes closed. Hit enter. Let's commit it to a slot. See, now we have these three. Mm -hmm. And we can delete this one. So hit delete. Delete this one. G this one. Okay. And let's see if we can change them a little bit. So hit SX. SX. Looks really sad. I'm gonna... mm -hmm. But he looks sadder with the sad mouth. That's right. We need to add his mustache. Mm -hmm. With the sad mustache. Must... 
mustache. Mm -hmm, which we also have separated in another area, right? So hit Shift D to duplicate. Mm -hmm. We're going to drag it to five. Uh, don't know. Duplicate again. Okay. So this one is, okay, nine. So let's move the, ah, this could be a bit more frantic, frantic. We'll see. Okay, so here, now let's rotate a bit. Rotate a bit. Scale and, scale just in general. Scale just in general. Okay, A, A, I, lot, lock rate scale. Okay, let's see how this looks like until 20. Okay, so we can play around with these just as we did before, right? So B to box select, Shift D to duplicate, do it again. Okay, so we're gonna stop at 25. Now let's use our trick G, 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 actually G, G, G. G, G, G. Okay, let's see. So very, very quick, right? We are going to use the same trick as before. A to select all. A again. Uh, S. And we get three times as big. Okay, so now for the last one, it's frame 73. All right, so let's go to 73. Let's play it. There you go. Look at him. He's desperate. He's just bowling his eyes out. What's up? I thought that the, excuse me, the left eye. Yeah. Is moving a bit less than the other eye. That's true. It's just going up and down and up and down. And the other one's getting smaller and bigger and stuff. That's true. It's like we for, didn't do rock, lock rot scale, but just lock rot. That's odd. Well, I think that this one is moving too much, personally. So let's go take a look. So here it's really small. Here, it's go, here it goes really big. So maybe it's too small here. So go S, I, lock rod scale, shift D, again, again. Try. I think that's all right, no? That's good. Okay, control S to save. All right, so now let's go and find out how we're gonna deal with this to put it on the character, okay? Okay. So, where's the little player? There he is. There's the little fella. Ta-da! With his little collider, okay? And he has got a face. Skeleton, root, spine. Oh, actually, wait a moment, because we still need to import the other one, the new version. Ah, uh, maybe it's he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be okay. We just need to go and find the face, which is going to be all the way up the spine, neck, head. There we are. So inside the head, we need to insert the other model. Okay? okay. So we're going to go to Han's eyes and drag it into the head. Now you see that it's got a head already attached. That's mm -hmm. the reference head. We're going to keep that reference head for now. The reason why we're going to do that is so we can see where to put it. Okay, actually that's kind of, probably it's got a bit of a bad, it's a bit of a bad situation that for that head, because it's, um, it's so all over the place, it may be a problem. So, that's here, on hand size, eyes rig, eye left, right, hand size, etc, reference head, delete the reference head. Now for the hand size, we may want to turn it around, okay. So let's try 270 on the X. Whoops, I got it wrong. Let's try 90. Okay, I'm starting to approach the correct angle. Okay, so that looks like it's 180 here. Now, I don't know if it's pointing forth or back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of this. It looks correct. Yes, it looks correct, but it's in the wrong place. We need to move it down a bit. Yeah, well, that's not that easy, because it looks like the center of the object is nowhere near where the eyes are, peculiarly enough. So maybe we did something wrong in here. Let's take a look. 
So the rig itself is there. The reference head is down here. So that's a bit odd. I don't understand because the rig is here and the Hans eyes are there too. So this is all mapped to Hans's mouth. Ish. So somehow we got this wrong. What we're going to do is we're going to create here an empty and rename this one to a uh, face. Yeah. And now let's drag hand size into face. Okay. Now the face is at zero, zero, zero. Okay. This is at the base of the head. So hand size somehow needs to be moved. Now I have no idea if this is going to work out, especially because we cannot see hands animate. Okay. So that's an issue. So we need to go and fix Hans a little bit before we can do this. Okay, so give it a save for now. Now let's take a look at Hans's animations. Animation, boink, errors found while importing the rig in this animation file. Open rig type for more details. Humanoid, blah, 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 close, configure. Okay, done. So now the rig should be okay. Let's go none, apply, sort of reset it. And now everything should go nuts. And now we're going to go humanoid, create from this model, apply. Because I think those extra mustache that we had and all of that were causing us trouble. But now he's in the same position. I can see that, but it's also saying null reference, object reference, not set to an engine, build save, unity model, import model, import rig editor. So somehow it's not working for the humanoid. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Errors found while importing the rig in this animation file. Open import messages fold out below. Okay, so let's take a look. Required human bone hips not found. That's very strange. Okay, so let's go and open Hans. Um, I don't know why it is that we don't have a hips bone, but we should. Uh, edit mode. Let's take a look at the. So, this is the spine. <clears throat> I'm actually surprised because before it let us do it, right? I'm sure this was not called a uh, hips, you know? Which one was, is called the hips? This one should be called hips according to it. So, type hips. Maybe we call. That's very strange. Save. I don't know why. This is the first time I see this error ever. Anyone hips with but a capital H? there's two Hanses here. That's no different. These are two different things. This is the mesh. This is the object. Oh. So let's change this again to none. Apply. And let's go back to humanoid. Apply. So one of the reasons why we could be getting this error is because we have changed. Okay, it's happy now. Oh no, it's gone to generic. Yeah, I think Unity is having troubles, trouble because of, yeah, let's see, hips, right? So we want hips with a capital H, this doesn't make any sense. This is this can't be right. This is the wrong error. It's giving us a false error. I don't know what's going on, but it's something else. It's not this. So we've got an issue now because our file, right, isn't actually working properly. Uh, we used to have mustache here and we've removed it and I'm wondering if Blender is basically a bit weak in this area and whether it doesn't work anymore. That would be very sad but it's also very possible. The animations here ought to work. Let's change back to pose mode. There we go, he's walking, right? He's walking on the left. He's landing. He's jumping. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's working just fine. Hmm, I wonder if we could change it to generic and see if we can apply it. I have no idea. It may or may not work. So let's go to animation. Okay, Hans idle. Play. Okay, let's see Hans walk. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the humanoid bit, apparently. I mean, I'm not particularly worried, frankly. All right, so remember what we need to do with all of the animations? 
We have to do all the loop stuff. Yeah, exactly. So loop pose. So this is interesting because it's not a humanoid. It's got a lot less. Uh, oh dear, this is a this is a bad time for this. Slack. <coughs> Whoops! I'm gonna have to censor that. I think in the recording. Anyway, so uh, here we have idols. They're all loopable, right? Uh, this is loopable. Walk is loopable. Uh, jump is not loopable. Land is not loopable. Land is not loopable. Oh, jump! We only have one. Hmm? We only have jump. To, oh no! There it is. Jump oh, to the left. Is. Can jump. I move it up? I don't think so. Land and death is possibly loopable. Yes. No. Wait a moment. I don't think so because it goes from a different position. This is not loopable. So let's hit apply. Okay, and here are all of our animations. Now we need to go take a look at our animator for Hans. There we go. And now I bet you that all of our stuff is broken. So all of our idols, everything's broken. Oh, wait a moment. It's actually figured it out. Okay, Good. so this may actually work. Let's give it a shot. Maximize on play, good. Let's take a look. And absolutely nope. not. Oh, maybe the animator doesn't even apply anymore. It's possible. It's possible that our character is now totally wrong. Right? Hans here, and the skeleton, and everything. So let's delete Hans. Goodbye. Now let's take our little Hans guy and drag him into the model, I guess? I don't know. Okay, there he is. Non runtime animator. Let's give him the Hans animator. Now let's just test right away to see if this actually works to some extent. Nope. Nope. Uh, na, 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 na. So I don't think this particularly matters. Uh, oh, oh, hello. There's the anim. Okay, we got two animators I think one of them just didn't function rename this one to model Hit enter okay now let's try now this could work because everything should be hooked up but it still doesn't all right we need to take a look at the animator now I have no idea wait a second controller there you go Avatar and Avatar. It, I wonder if it doesn't work because of our generic rig. It's possible. Yeah, I absolutely do not see it work. So let's not maximize. Let's take a look at the animator. Let's hit play. And now let's look at this. So it's in grounded locomotion. It should be doing things, but it doesn't. I'm guessing we have the wrong movements. Hands idle left or right. It's working in the preview. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Idle left or right. Walk left or right. Yeah, it seems to be working. That's the motion. Your dad is a bit confused. Oh, I think we, by pure luck, fixed it. Yeah, he's idling and There walking. we go, he's idling and walking. Now, let's see him fall now. Yeah, I don't quite like that sort of timeout thingy. I think it'd be better without. But when we die, it's probably good. Okay, so let's retry and die deliberately. Look at little Hans. He's funny. He's also tiny. Yeah, well, I'm stupid. I forgot to. I forgot to do maximize and play. Oh, well, anyway. There we go. All right, Hans, let's go. Let's go perish. Uh, Splat. Cool. So let's cool. add his eyes. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> we have a, a bit longer to go, 
I may cut it a bit short so we feel a bit under the weather. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. So spine, spine, neck, head. That's where we're going, right? Mm -hmm. With our little a little little um eyes. Uh, before we do that, what's the situation here with the rig? Generic, sure, that's all good. Animation, blah, blah, blah. So, eyes blink, sure. Uh, default take can go. So, eyes blink. We didn't blink in. Eyes closed. Uh, these should be looping. And looping pose. And uh, eyes idle, same thing. Apply. Okay, so we got these. And we need what? We need a new animator controller. Mm -hmm. Right? For so eyes. That's right. Create uh, animator controller. Hans eyes. Hit enter. Okay. So there it is. We've got them. Now let's grab our Hans eyes. Drag them into the head. Again. Now we're going to have two weird heads. Okay, so the reference head can definitely go. And we said we wanted to have a container, right, that we call face. So rename this one to face. Face. Put the eyes in. Okay. And uh, what are we going to do now? Now we need to deal with the animation, right? Well, we need to rotate the face first in such a way that makes sense. So 270. Oh, no, I keep on getting it wrong. So I think this one was 180. 180. And this one was 90, wasn't it? Yeah. There. Okay. So and we brought it down a bit. Now, Hans' eyes, we're going to lower them and, and also bring, bring them, them out. out. Okay. Now, it needs a runtime animator. We're going to put the Hans' eyes. And for now, just to fix it up, we're going to put idle. Okay. So from entry, we're going to create a new create state empty and we're gonna we're gonna call this one idle so call it idle uh-huh and motion is gonna be hands eyes idle there we go nice and easy start from entry no no questions okay face hands eyes idle should work let's test it okay so there are his eyes I can't tell they're if they're animating. Too high. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know if they're animating. Well, let's go to the scene. And let's also stop the maximize and play. They don't look like it. Yes, they're animating. It's kind of hard to see, but they are. Yeah, uh, I see them too now. Okay. So for the eyes, we want to lower them about here, right? Mm -hmm. So what position is this? It's negative 1. Yeah, maybe we can leave it just there. And 0 0.05 for the forward. Okay. So negative 1. 0 0.05. Okay. So we've got the eyes. Now, um, shall we do at least a little bit of code today? Let's teach him how to blink. Mm -hmm. All right. So first of all, to blink, we need to set up something in the animator. You forgot to save Blender. Save. And we can close this and save. We can close this. Then we'll deal with the mustache next time, maybe. Okay. So here we got a face, right? And uh, rather, we have the eyes, and the animator is what matters to us. So there is another stage that we have, right? Which is the blinking. Now, the blinking should not loop, correct? So mm -hmm. let's put the entry over here. I'm going to expand this a little bit. Okay. Let's put the entry over here, and now from any state, we should be able to blink. So I'm going to create state empty. And we're going to create a link to here. And then after it, the character blinks, where should, it, where should the eyes go? To idle again. To idle. Boom. Right? So let's add a component, like a question, which is trigger, right? Mm. Call it blink. All right, so whenever we trigger the blink, boop, we go to blink. All right, so this one you can call it blink. And the motion is going to be eyes blink. Awesome. Here you go. Um, perfect. 
and uh, now we need to check the transition. So when do we transition to blink? When we use the blink condition, right? Mm -hmm. Let's move this point all the way to the left and make it as narrow as possible. So the blink looks like immediate. Perfect. Okay, and now instead going to idle is right after we're done with the animation, we just blend into it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna actually gonna lower the blend time a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, sounds good. So all of our um, animator stuff is prepared, but obviously our code doesn't know that the uh, this new animator exists, right? So we're gonna need to drill through the structure to go and find it. Okay. You'll see, it's not that difficult. Um, so, for the eyes, because Hans is the only character that has eyes, I suspect this stuff should probably be in the character controller, not in the character animator. Huh? Animator, new Visual Studio update is available. Uh, not now, Flower. Okay, so another option would be to create a script that is specifically designed for the blinking and the mustache. And I think that would probably be better. It would give us more control okay. and less invasiveness with all of the enemies, right? So let's go to our script and we can delete the daddy player controller. This is obsolete. And we're going to create a character details or something. Or let's just call it Hans Expressions, something like that, right? So go Hans Expressions. I know it. Expressions. Perfect. Okay, so we got Hans expression expressions. Let's let's allow this friend here to wake up and know that there's a new solution. Open Hans expressions. There we go. So you know what to do with all of this. Blop. All right. Now for Hans expressions, we need access to our animator, right? So you go private animator. No capital. There it is. Yeah, now you can call it animator. Semicolon. Save. Let me check real quick if it is called an animator because I kind of forgot things. So the character controller and the character motor. The motor should have the animator. Ooh, that's a big one, isn't it? Character controller. There it is. Animator, animator. So that's how it works. Okay. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need, uh, oh, we need to specify which animator because we have two of them, right? One for the mouth and one for the eyes. So rename this one to eyes animator. So just add, no, lowercase, eyes, and then uppercase A. Save. Okay, that's good. Now we've got the eyes animator. We are going to need a coroutine for blinking. So private, coroutine, core, capital. No, no, oh yeah, core, yeah. <laughs> it's around the That was the wrong way. R, O, there it is. Okay, space, now call it core, underscore. Oops. That's how daddy does it, right? But that doesn't mean this is right. Other people do it differently. So core, and we're going to call this one um, blink routine, or just blink. Yeah, semicolon. And we're also going to need some kind of boolean that we can find, maybe if the character is alive or not. So let's take a look at the character controller. Does the character have a boolean uh, about character being alive? I don't know that I see it. I don't think so. But maybe user control. Take control F for me. Okay, so let's find user control when it goes false. There. Oh, right. No, that's just, it's got nothing to do with it. I think that it's our character motor that decides if you're alive or not. So let's go take a look at the status. Yeah, alive. And it is private too, which is not great. Uh, we need to be able to check if we're alive or not, um, or just send information to the, to the expressions from the outside. So when we die, we're going to tell the hands expressions that were not alive. Okay, so let's create a public void setup. 
Open, uh, open, close door and semicolon. Yes, quit it. Sorry, not semicolon. Your dad is lying to you. Okay, so we got set up. We're gonna need. Um, let me think for a moment. Uh, change state. Public void. This means we're gonna need a certain state. Yeah, so open close around for now and open as Quiddle. Save. Now, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a enum right here. So go public enum. Public enum. Uh, yeah, that's too generic. Uh, you want eyes state. No, uh, this is for both. Sure, I state. That's good. Go I state. Open a squiggle at the end. Okay, underscore none for negative one. Nine. Nine. That's how we say nice. Noise. It's much cooler. Negative one. Comma. Hit enter. Okay, so the no, comma here. Now, the first expression that we're going to have is just idle. So, or rather, is sort of alive and dead. These are our only two actual expressions, right? So, say alive, comma, enter, dead. So, we have the alive expression and the dead expression. So, here we're going to request copy i state, paste, space, e. And now I'm going to teach you a trick that a friend of mine called Cookie and another one called user you have taught me. Are okay. you ready? Okay. Okay. So you need to type switch. Okay. Now hit tab and tab again. Did you see what it did? Yeah. Now press E. Hit enter. Hit enter. Do you see what it did? Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Much less work for us. <laughs> so we don't need none. And we don't need default. Save. Okay, so we, it's prepared everything for us. And what we are going to do is we are going to uh, say that when, when we're alive, right, we want to go to, well, for now we have nothing there, right? But we do want to start the core routine that's going to deal with the blinking when we're alive. Okay, so right here we're going to do our usual structure. So you want to do void. Space. Voice. What sorts of wrong? Um, I don't know what to tell you. Must be Cookie's influence. Okay, so void. And now you're going to type uh, start blink routine. Not blink. <laughs> Bling, bling is what I want. Do you know what bling is? Bling what? is a slang word for uh, riches, money, cash, gems, that sort of stuff. Okay. So, routine. Routine. <laughs> no, that's a routine. It's, uh, it's like a type of pasta, routine. Okay. <laughs> Open, close round. Well, a type of pasta that only exists in North America, but don't tell them. Otherwise, they go all mental. Okay. So, void. Stop blink routine. Oi, 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 <laughs> oi. Routine. Ru ru Rutai space e. It's a. Uh, it's very pon. That one well. How are you so bad? Open close. No wait. Breaking things. Okay. Open close. <laughs> You open the squiggle first. There we go. We eventually got there. I mean, World War Three has started and ended, but what can you do? Uh, I enumerator. Two down. Or Oops. type every single letter. That's another option. Okay. I didn't type every single letter. That's true. You stopped before the very last one. Hey, hey why does it say that? Oh, oh yeah. Why does it say? Because you're not done. That's why. So blink routine. Oops, blink! blink. <laughs> it's all about the blink for you. I can tell you're a little girl. I'm going to turn into a woman one day. It's all about the blink. Okay, save. Blink routine. 
That's good. Now, why is it crying? Because it's got no uh, return. That's right. Good girl. Just give it a random return for now. Just say yield return null. Yeah, you spelled yield correctly. It's probably Christmas. Return b. <laughs> I did return spell b. that correctly. Semicolon. All right. Good. So all of this is done. Perfect. Now, inside stop. Let's deal with this one first. So here we're going to say if open round. You should know what to do. Do do what you know what to do. Leave your daddy alone. <laughs> I forgot the, that the car is called. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I call them all cars, so they're easy to find. Okay. There. And then what do you need to check? That it's not what? That's right. So that it's in use. If it's in use, what do we do? We stop it, evil coroutine. Coroutine. It's a, it's a French version of the coroutine. You spelled it wrong. Oh. <laughs> Remove the U. There you go. Stop coroutine. Close the round, semicolon. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to call stop blink routine from here. Oops. Yeah, yeah, that works. Stop. Look, look at the screen. Tab. Just tab, hit tab, magic. Did you <laughs> see that? Open, close round, semicolon. Save. I want you to become as lazy as your father, okay? <laughs> you need to type as little as possible. Okay, so stop link routine, that's good. And uh, you can start it. No, nope. first you need to, you're Oops. gonna have to assign it as a variable. Yeah, so core, or rather you're gonna have to assign it the coroutine. Start coroutine, open round, and now whatever it's called, copy. Paste, open close round, close, semi, save, or L, L is also good. <laughs> okay, so we got the link routine running. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for a random amount of time okay. and then we're going to blink. And then we're going to immediately wait for another random amount of time. So how many times are we going to do this? Infinite? That's Until right. he dies. That's right. So how do we do that? How do we do an infinite loop inside, uh, well, a loop that goes on forever. That's a bit different. You don't want an infinite loop. A while? Uh, while, sure. While what? What's the condition? It's a trick question. It's not going on, so. Huh? It's not. Ha is it happening now or not? It's happening what? The coroutine. Well, the coroutine will happen eventually, but first we need to write what it's going to do. So you're trying to it's write. It's gonna a blink. You you. But I know. But you want to write a while loop, correct? And you said yeah. it needs to go on forever, correct? Yeah. Okay. How do we write a loop that goes on forever? Remember, a while loop, what does a while loop need need to know to continue? It needs to know... Any while loop, I'm asking. Yeah, it needs to know a question. That's oh, right, a condition. Okay. And what must the answer of that condition be for the while loop to continue? Let me, let me rephrase this. The question, right? What type of question does the while loop need? Uh... There are a few types of questions, but there's one that's special in code. What question is it? It has two answers. Uh, an if. Sure, an if would also be the same type of logic. What's that b logic called? Bool Boolean. Boolean. Boolean logic, right? Okay, so you can't have a false and a true. Mm -hmm. If a while's condition goes false, what happens to the loop? It keeps going until it gets true. Nope, the other way around. <laughs> the loop will continue going as long as, it, as the condition stays true. Oh, so okay? we need to make it so true. So which then. condition do we need to stay true? This is another trick question. You would probably say that the player stays alive, no? Yeah, he needs to stay alive. Mm -hmm. The problem is, do the eyes know that the player is alive? Mm, no. Exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a loop that doesn't know anything. Okay. Check this out. What does that mean? 
while something is is there or no. true. Just while true. That's it. It simply means this loop will literally never stop. Oh. Mm-hmm. We are telling it that the condition that it's going to have isn't even a question. It's just an affirmation that things are true. Okay. So it will continue forever. Okay. Pretty cool, no? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, before we carry on with that, what we need to do, and notice what happened to the rest of the code. It went darker. Why is that? Because... Because... I have a suggestion for you. Hover on this. What does it say? Unreachable code detect. Oh, detect. What does unreachable mean? It can't get past that loop. That's right. So I can't reach Why that. can it not get past that loop? Because the while keeps going on. Forever. Right? So this code is bunk. Goodbye. Okay, so save now. Okay, so here we need a few serialized field arrays. So go serialized field or hit tab, close, space, private float, array. And we're going to call this one blink random weights. Well, blink weights, blink, blink weights, just weights. Oh, you're challenging yourself at typing with multiple fingers. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. This is uh, this is some hot stuff. <laughs> some <laughs> this, stuff is, this is going really well. <laughs> this is uh, emotionally involving. Semicolon. Yes, we got there. Unbelievable. Okay, good. <laughs> Take my best save. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, blink weights. Copy this guy. So what's the first thing we're gonna do during our while loop? We're gonna wait to blink. So we're gonna say a yield return. Oops, I added an extra space. Ah! <laughs> just, just type with one finger, Zoe. People don't want to stay here. Okay, you, if you're gonna practice, you practice in peace alone. Come on, yield return. There we go. Like that. It's already, it's already tragic enough as it is. Yield return. Uh, new. You should know. Now wait a moment. Wait for Oops. not for end the frame. Wait for seconds. Oops, not for equal either. You don't want to wait for equal. Open around, and you're going to feed it random dot range. Open round. Pa nope. Paste. Square bracket zero. Comma. Paste. Square bracket one. Close the round. Again, semicolon. Okay, so now we waited. What do we do now? Now we blink. How do we do that? We call the 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 this. The 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 no. And this will call the blink, right? No, no. Oh. Oh, it doesn't do anything then. That we'll use later. Right now it's just sort of like empty code. It's like a shell. Then we yeah. just use the animator. That's right. So you need to go down there and type eyes animator. Ah. Uh -huh. Every one letter, make sure you spell it, okay? Dot. <laughs> it's it's good that you hit tab at the end. That's really useful. <laughs> yeah, it's, really. It's a good really. use of IntelliSense. Yeah. <laughs> really, really, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, ice animator dot what? Um, animation. Uh, no. I, I would love to have that command, I can tell you right now, but no. Dot what? You remember we have a parameter to make the character blink. What is it? Oh, yeah. Alive. No. What do you mean by parameter? Here. Oh, yeah. That. Parameters. So is, so is trigger? Uh, no, it's not. Is trigger. Is trigger is for colliders and stuff. But you want to set trigger. Oh, set trigger. Every letter. <laughs> Open round bracket. <laughs> now you need a quote. And inside it, you need to name the trigger. What's the trigger called? Uh, blank. Mm -hmm. Close the quote. Close the round. Semicolon. Are we done? Uh, we need to wait again. So are we done? 
but uh, yes, we are because it keeps going. That's right. So the loop goes back, waits again, blinks again, goes back, waits again, blinks again, etc. Mm -hmm. Now we should make the whole blink wait really wide in range, right? So it should be really interesting, something like say between 0 0.2 seconds and 4, right? So it should be really, really random, a little bit like we made the eyes in Ovo Smash, right? Now the only thing that I want to do is um wait a minute i didn't make over smash with well, you well sure i did so, but yeah sorry whatever copy this paste it here semicolon say so for now we're just going to do this okay and uh is there anything else i don't think so but we need to access this guy uh rather this guy from the player okay so let's go to the character controller okay and we're going to start Mm, I don't see anything here, uh, but we probably should get it here, okay? So right here, we go private. Uh, actually, uh, oops, that won't be it, my dear. Private Hans expressions. Everything went wrong. Yeah, I can see that. Private Hans expressions. Okay, space. College H E. High explosive. He. 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 Semicolon. I mean, it's all full circle, really. It's just he. It's him. He. 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 That's, 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 that's a little bit flat. Okay, anyway, copy this. It's a good thing we're sending you to singing classes, so you can be delightful when you sing. Paste it here. Equals. Get component. You know what to do. Do it. You don't need your father for this. For spelling, yeah. <laughs> okay, Telling you, it's the evil influence of the cookies. Okay, now what are you getting? Mm -hmm. Question: Are you sure you're gonna find something like this? Yes, because there's no squiggle under that. No, <laughs> that's not the point. There is no squiggle because your code is correct. But are you gonna find the Hans expressions? Remember, the character controller controls your enemies too. Oh, yeah. Are you going to find the character, exp the Hans expressions? No. Well, maybe is the correct answer, oh. which means we need to check if it exists. So here you're going to say if open round, hey, chi is not null. Close the round or open again <laughs> or put an underscore. <laughs> open a squiggly. Enter, enter, close it. Today. Uh, yeah. Say. And then take. No, don't take anything. From <laughs> that's that's already fine. Just type hey chi dot setup. Dot setup. Yeah, that worked. Okay, open, close around, semicolon. Say. Totally dead, yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely uh, <laughs> That okay. wasn't it. Okay, so we're setting up as soon as we start with a player. That's fine. Um, we're going to change this later, but it doesn't particularly matter for now. So what we need to do, though, is we need to ensure that this thing is present on the player. So we need to go to the player. Okay. We need to go to the player and put it on. This is going to be an issue. Okay. This is going to be quite complicated because we're going to have to go look for things. So put Hans expressions right here. Okay, now we have Hans' expression. Now let's check out blink weights. We said we want two of them, a minimum of 0 0.2 and a maximum of, say, four seconds. Probably even more, but let's go with this for now, right? So the issue is this guy doesn't know where the animator is. And where is the animator for the eyes? Here. Look at the path we need to go through. Okay, it's a big deal, this. So uh, what we're going to do is you're going to hold Windows key and press left or hold, not press. There, release. And we're gonna put this one on this side, okay? So we can go and easily follow this particular thing all the way, okay? Because we still need to set up, inside setup, our animator, okay? Copy, paste, okay? And here you're gonna say equals. And you're gonna say transform.find. Find. Open round quote. 
This is the last thing we'll do today, okay? So let's see. Our current object is, our, our current script is on player. That means we need to drill into model, then skeleton. Okay, so type model with a capital M, slash, or modic, model, slash, the, yeah. Now, skeleton. Yeah. Now you need to go to root, lowercase, lowercase, lowercase. You need to follow the exact spelling. Now, slash again. Hips, still lowercase. Slash again. Or hip s. You need to be absolutely perfect, Zoe. If you get it wrong, it won't work. Spine yeah. underscore zero zero one. Go. Mm -hmm. Now copy this and put a copy it. Put a slash. Paste it. Slash. Paste it. Three slash. Okay, now we need neck. Cell <clears throat> case. Yep, slash. Uh, head. Slash. Capital F face. Bit incompetent, this. Slash? No, it's fine. It's inconsistent, not incompetent. And now That's hands, okay. eyes. Capital H. Hands! Hands! <laughs> Hans eyes. And now wait a bit. Okay, here we go. And now you close the quote. We actually have arrived. Close the round bracket. Dot. We have arrived. You have arrived. Dot get component. Animate. Of type. Of type. Of type. <laughs> animator. This must be a very long line. It is. It's longer because of how slow you are. Close it. Open, close round. You forgot the rounds. And you added a <laughs> thing. All right. Oh boy, we got there. Look at this chaos. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do this. Blop. Splat. Blop. Splat. Splat. Not particularly ideal, but it'll do. Okay, save. Coolios. So this should all be done. The eyes animator should be done. It will set the trigger blink. It should return automatically to its own thing. Uh, we should be just fine, I believe. So now it's time to test because we ran out of time. So let's test. Okay, wait a minute. You want to test? All right. mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm gonna test? Just wait because you need to stare at him blink so don't move at all. Yep. There you go. Look at him. Look he at him blink. Now he's now he waits a little, little then he blinking. blinks again. Then he's blinking again. Oh, sometimes he blinks really blink, fast. Blink, blink. Oh boy, this is awesome! Your character is blinking. And let's see if he's Yeah, move about, he's gonna keep on blinking. He doesn't care. Because the eyes are independent from the rest. Hello. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I saw yeah, him blink. Yeah, I saw him blink while he... Oh, you died! <laughs> and he doesn't, and he did not blink while he, he died. How dare he? Absolute evil. I need to come alive. The goal. I'm the, alive. You're alive? Okay, uh -oh. that sounds good. So let's say goodbye to our YouTube audience. Crash. All right, Crash. we're done for today. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.